Hey guys, I'm Jay, and today we are going to look at a damn handsome sheath for a damn handsome knife. That knife is the Buck Selkirk large folder, model number 0836. Now what I would like to accomplish today is to be able to show you guys all the different ways that this sheath can be configured. So, before... I set the knife aside. I just want to go ahead and show it to you in the sheath. So currently this is set up for right hand carry. And you ask yourself, Jay, how the heck do you know that? Well, you see this little thumb ramp there? Yep, that's to help you extract the knife from the sheath. Now this sheath can be worn either, well, horizontally, vertically, and it can even accommodate a couple different belt sizes. It looks like right now it's set up to accept about a one inch wide belt. You can even remove the ferro rod holder altogether. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take off this back clip and we'll see how easy or difficult it is to switch this to a lefty carry. Oh boy, this is a lot of screws. In order to switch this over to a, a left side carry, the first thing that we're going to have to do, this again is the like belt clip, belt goes through here, and then this is the mounting plate. We're going to mount the clip onto it, and then the mounting plate onto the back of the uh, sheath. So, first thing is I'm going to have to try and remember how these things go back together. Okay, so I have one screw in. These have to, these two screws have to be attached first because it's going to kind of go like that and you're not going to have access and make sure that the slotted side is facing out, up, towards you. So you'll take the two shortest screws, one and two. You see those? All right. Okay, so let me go ahead and get the second one, second screw together. Okay, so before I completely tighten the second belt clip screw, we are going to have to take this spacer. It is going to go, see that, like right in between the mounting plate and the belt clip. And then the ferro rod holder. goes in between there as well, just like that. See? Oh, and one other thing is going to go in here as well in between. And that's going to be this little rubber spacer. And that's going to go on the outside, so to speak. See that? guys ever get that feeling like when you decide to do a project and you start it and you're like oh my gosh what am I doing why did I attempt this you guys know that feeling 
Okay, just checking. Once we get that longest screw in there, we're going to be good to go. The rest will be pretty easy. Okay. Wow. Okay. There. See this now? Let me see if I can get show you guys. Ferro rod holder. Uh, that long spacer. The smaller rubber spacer. And then the flathead screws. Yeah. Deer fall apart. I will scream. And we will take the second longest screw and we're going to put it in right below the longest screw. going to pass through all of those layers God, why do I have to be left-handed? Why couldn't I just be righty like everybody else? Alright, we are looking good, guys. And now, the last screw. Belt. Knife. Hey, we did it. Holy cow. Boy, I am glad I did this for a knife that I never carry. I actually, my intention was to show you guys all the different mounting possibilities. Uh, I was going to show you the like scout carry configuration, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I should have called a general contractor so that's my uh, advice to you. If you need to switch this, because it comes in the lefty configuration, if you, excuse me, righty configuration, if you need to switch it to a lefty, I would, um, well, I would just kind of try and train your body, your hand, to, uh, you know, become right-handed. So then you don't have to move it or in the yellow pages, I'm sure, Craigslist, whatever, 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 you know, for general contractors, get your estimates first, and um, <laughs> we'll go from there. 
So if this video answered most of your questions about the Buck Selkirk large folder polymer sheath, then uh, why not just go ahead and leave me a like? If you guys have any questions regarding the sheath, the knife, the process, how many calories I burned, hit me up in the comments section down below. So thanks you guys for uh, stopping by and I will see you at the next video. You guys take care, okay?